Hey, this is uh, an explanation of my rocket powered lunar module uh, flying model. This model is a 132 scale of the original Apollo lunar module, which was what they used to land on the moon uh, back in 1969 for Apollo 11 and then Apollo 12, Apollo 14, Apollo 15, 16 and 17. Apollo 13 didn't land on the moon, and I've built this in tribute to Apollo 13. The lunar module never made it to the moon, and, and this one certainly won't either. Um, the challenge of flying a lunar module uh, on the Earth is that uh, the lunar module was never designed to fly in the atmosphere. Consequently, the shape of a lunar module um, evolved out of need, not um, uh, aerodynamics. So they put modules, tanks, thrusters, dishes, legs onto the vehicle, regardless of how it looked or how it, uh, how streamlined it was, because it never was designed to fly in, in the air. So, in fact, it was really described as the first true spacecraft because it, because it only ever flew in space. Now the challenge with that, uh, with making it fly on in the air, is you've got to try and um, give it some aerodynamic stability. So the idea of this model is that it's uh, got a Estes D12-3 rocket engine inside it. Um, it's got uh, this big thing on the top which is not on the original Apollo lunar module vehicle. It, uh, this in fact contains the parachute uh, module. And the rocket engine will ignited like a, a normal uh, model rocket engine. The rocket engine in fact is, is down here if you can see that. Uh, there's also a tube to, just to the side of that, uh, that um, the engine which is actually the launch rod will pass through that and it will keep the vehicle stable for the first you know, couple of seconds or first millisecond off the launch pad. And um, theoretically the, the whole thing will go straight up if it's stable. Um, at the end of the powered flight, there's a delay of uh, three seconds, and then an ejection charge inside the engine will pop off the um, parachute canister, which is what we've got here. That will then separate, and hopefully, the parachute will then deploy and allow the whole thing to come down and land on a nice soft landing on the ground. A couple of modifications I've made other than adding the rocket engine of course is that um, the fins, the legs here have got thin plastic uh, strips of plastic in there to, to create fins to give it some sort of aerodynamic stability. Um, and also the foot pads which are obviously not very aerodynamic if the direction travels this way. What I've done is I've given a little breakaway aerodynamic <laughs> flap so when it's going through the air it will go like that and when it's finished it will come down and use it to land. So this started off being a, um, a scan of a, a Golf oil company model from back in the 60s which they gave out to kids in petrol stations, gas stations. Someone had scanned it and put it up on the internet. I, I grabbed it, pulled it down, scaled it printed on some thick card and proceeded to cut it up and fold it into the configuration. It's got a few internal um, strengthening um, beams as well. So hopefully the next thing you'll see is this flying. We'll see. It could just horribly go wrong as well. There it is. And this is dedicated to Apollo 13. Okay. Everyone ready? Yeah. Okay. Ten, Go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Oh man! That's oh. close. That's close. Crash landing. <laughs> Another crash landing. <laughs> Go, okay, don't touch anything. Oh, oh, did it? Oh.
a bit of grass, you. man. Oh. Oh. You can come out of the uh, container again. And I didn't. Oh, the leg's a bit busted. I lost it as well. I didn't get the oh, okay. crash landing. Here's one. Where's okay, the thank cap? you. Okay, Clark, just behind you is some leg. Can you pick that up? Anyone find some legs? Oh, well. Any astronaut limbs? Are we going to oh, here's one. Not today. Thank you, Martin. So we're going to fix it, maybe? We'll try to fix it. And... <laughs> Never. <laughs> I know what the problem is. What? Nutty the nutty... This is the rocket scientist. Rocket scientist? He was wearing his cap in the wrong way. Oh, that's Make himself problem. look less intelligent. Yeah. Oh, well. I don't think now, this is... Now, there's an intelligent face. No, this is... Are these rubbish? <laughs> no, you can keep them. <laughs> Watch out that we